New tonight, the chef and restaurant owner accused of sexual battery pleaded not guilty in court today. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Carlo Chiquetto. Marcella Lee has the night off. Chef Jeff Cole was booked just hours after he celebrated the grand opening of his downtown San Diego restaurant. CBS 8's Steve Price has been following this story closely from the very beginning. Steve, what did you learn about any new details in court today? Yeah, Carla, we did learn some new detail today, both in court at the arraignment and then from some documents that we received today as well, including the fact that the alleged incident happened last May. We waive a reading of the charges and enter a plea of not guilty. A not guilty plea from Chef Jeff Cole Monday in the downtown courthouse. The 41 year old faces four charges, including two felony counts of sexual battery. Two, three. Yeah. Cole was arrested April 1st, just hours after a grand opening ceremony for his new restaurant, Brunch After Dark, in downtown. CBS 8 interviewed him shortly after he was released on bail. He said he had no idea why he was arrested. They told me something from my last restaurant. They said, it's a case from my last restaurant. And, um, you know, so I was like, I still don't know who the victims are. I don't know what the situation is, so I don't really have much to talk about what happened. But court documents obtained by CBS 8 show the incident allegedly happened last May, saying Cole did willfully and unlawfully touch an intimate part of two different women while they were unlawfully restrained. Cole is free on $70,000 bail, and the judge allowed him to remain out of custody as long as he agrees to keep his distance from the alleged victims. In addition to that, you must stay 100 yards away from their home, jobs, workplace, vehicle, schools, any location where either one of these uh, two people are located. Do you understand uh, these conditions of uh, this court allowing you to remain out on your previously posted bond? Yes. Because prosecutors didn't dispute Cole's current bail amount, no new details were given in court regarding the alleged crimes. But they say Cole's notoriety as a chef and entrepreneur in the community will not play a role in this case. So our analysis is what happened here? What does the law say the crime is for this kind of conduct? What does the law say the punishment is? And we try to treat everyone as equal as possible. And we should learn a lot more at Cole's preliminary hearing, which was scheduled today for June 18th. According to the deputy district attorney, if Cole is convicted on all the charges that he is currently facing, he could be looking at up to six years behind bars. Carlo.